The world has a lot of lockdowns because of COVID-19. And for us, we need to stay home to stay safe. At times though, we need to leave the house to obtain materials. And this can be going to the grocery store to get food and supplies. But going to the grocery store isn't so easy. We need to be protected. And masks are in shortage right now. That's why this video shows you how to make masks with a 3D printer so when you walk out of the house, you can have your 3D printed mask on so you can stay safe. Before I begin, I wanna make it clear that the masks shown in this video are not FDA approved. This was not made by us and it was found on thinggivers.com, okay? And specifically, it was made by LA Factoria 3D from Spain on March 16, 2020. And next, you're gonna to have to print a surgical mask strap. These two go together. For the COVID-19 mask, you can use a standard filter which uses the mask connector, two filters, filter and pre-filter, and the cap. For the screw-on filter, you're going to use the mask, connector, filters, N95, holder, and the cap. In the video, however, we only focus on the standard filter, but the guy actually provided an entire PDF that discusses an in-depth analysis and procedure for both of these filters. So this will be a test in the description for you guys to view. You can get six different mask sizes, thin and wide for small, thin and wide for medium, thin and wide for large two options for filters. You can either use a normal filter or a specific N95 filter size. If you do not have an N95 filter in your house, you can use a household filter that is vacuum cleaner bag, dish towel, cotton blend, 100% cotton t-shirt. And in this chart, you also see their efficiency, which is what's recommended. The overall time that this takes is one to three hours to print. Here's the time left of the mask being printed. The angle may not be the best as it does not depict the mask, but we tried our best to get the best angle. Next, ear guard for masks. Healthcare workers and others who are wearing masks for extended periods of time begin to get chafing on their ear. This can compromise their ability for healthcare workers to wear these masks all day. That's why we get ear guard. Again, use a free link from Things Give Giver SE in the description. Make the size band between 80 to 100 percent print depending on the size of your head. Do medium density between 15 to 20 percent fill to ensure flexibility and strength. Uh, fill pattern to be in hexagon combined infill every two layers. Layer height to be 0.2 mm. First layer height to be 0.2 mm. Here is just a picture of this being made on the software. Here is the face mask printed. Now the ear guard. You cannot commercially sell this as it was provided by thingsgivers.com. Next, if you have the means of printing both of these, the ear guards and the face mask, you can distribute them to healthcare providers because they're really lacking on these. Helping them will aid in the effort to stopping the virus. Now with the mask and the ear guard, you can go shopping when necessary with protection.